Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you like car related uh, repair videos or you like the idea of following me through what I get up to with my ZXs, um, please consider subscribing because it helps the channel grow. If you do subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell icon so you get notifications of all my future uploads. Now what am I on about on this video? Right, so I made a video not long ago in regards to thanking one of my lovely subscribers for giving me a PC. Um, in that video though, I was uh, unfortunate to lose some footage. So I go from uh, the computer being on its first switch on and where it had a fresh install of Windows 10 to um, straight on to talking about figures and speeds that I found on the website and showing you a few bits regarding the PC but I hadn't actually got that footage showing you because I was just sitting there talking about it and my number one fan, my mum, likes to watch all my videos and she was the one that pointed it out to me so I had two options, either take the video down because I'm a perfectionist and everything has to be right or make another video explaining what went on and actually show you those figures that I intended to show you in the last video. So, um, I'd obviously, as you can hear, I'm here now on YouTube doing this video. You can understand that I've chosen to do the latter. So, a little update on that lost footage. I've, gonna, I've got some uh, figures for you. I've also got an update because I have now remembered what graphics card is in this PC that I've got given. It's an NVIDIA GTX 1060. It's got uh, a little bit more of an update as well with uh, those ports on the back. They're known as display ports. They're also as good as HDMI, and you can get adapters to change them to HDMI, so I could effectively run four screens off that card if I was if I was to do so wish. But I only have the one screen, so I'm quite happy just to keep it running on the one screen with the HDMI. So um, maybe in the future I am looking at possibly getting a second screen, but that's not needed just yet. I'm not too bothered just yet. But... Um, so yeah, we'll get on to the subject of looking at some of these figures. I originally looked on a web page called Basemark, which just gave me overall overall number, really. My brother, though, is completely more PC-related. Bit of a PC nerd, if I'm honest, in comparison to me. Um, I'm with the cars, he's with the PCs. He gave me inside knowledge of well why not use a website called user benchmark so i've actually done both pcs are on now both pcs are switched on on the be user benchmark and they've been going through a user benchmark test they're both finished on the user benchmark test so what i'll do is i'll flip the camera now and i will show you that so first one is the uh, original windows 8 pc um my one that was on the slow PC, how to make slow PC fast. Um, 8 gig RAM, 3.5 gigahertz, 64 bit operating system, Windows 8. So if I actually get the correct mouse, which I have, I can close that off because I don't need that anymore. We're now on user benchmark. Now, if we look, it's 12% gaming, they describe it as a tree trunk. Um, desktop use, they describe it as a speedboat and a workstation they describe it 25 percent as a surfboard so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the tv remote and go down go up to hdmi 1 which is the new pc which i kindly got given and if we're looking at this straight away double the improvement of being 49 percent yacht um 54 on there which they say is a yacht as well and Pretty, nearly double the improvement on the workstation as well, which is jet ski, and to me, figures don't mean nothing because I was just this PC's actually been on for about an hour already. I've been doing some editing and stuff for my next video that goes up, um, which is my fuel tank one. Um, but figures mean nothing. It I know it works quicker. So what we'll now do is we'll go get rid of that. This is the this is now running 12 gig, 
because it's using 12 of the 16 gig that I've put in because I did decide to put the second card in um, and that's my new Windows 10 PC so. so yeah editing a couple of videos and where I edited the last video saying thank you as well um, this PC is working an absolute dream the old one is very slow in comparison um, so I'm absolutely overjoyed with this um, but like I said this video is literally just to fill in the gaps of the last one and give you guys some insider knowledge of a comparison between the two so um, yeah they're both running on Ethernet cables they're both running on the same internet connection um, so it is pure that was purely just a a PC related test so um, also what I will say is I think I have yeah on the user base mark I have got the figures written down here um, on the user base mark on the on the website called base mark the Windows 8 PC my original one got an overall figure of 391.8 that, that, that does like a score chart thing of how good the PC is. Now the new Windows 10 PC got a score of 1,028. Yeah, so 1,028.57. So that's where I say it's pretty much four times maybe five times faster especially because these figures are, that I've written down on this piece of paper was done before I put the second RAM card in so it's definitely quicker um, so yeah um, I'm going to leave that one here and I will say please subscribe please consider subscribing because it helps the channel grow immensely car content will resume very short, shortly if you do subscribe um don't forget to ring the bell icon because it helps you let helps let you know when i do my up and coming uploads and um take care guys stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now